On the last video, I explored the Nightingale talent. The Nightingale talent is referred to as the musical talent. It is about the ability to sing and play musical instruments and also to recognize rhythm and read in between the lines. On this video, my purpose is to explore the ego talent. I believe you are familiar with ego. If you don't know ego, there is possibility that you have seen hawk in the sky before. Both ego and hawk belong to the same family. They have several things in common. It is interesting that the Holy Bible says many things about this marvelous creature. For instance, God showed up and responded to Job's complaint about the calamities that befell him. Surprisingly, God didn't sympathize with Job. Neither did God apologize to him. God instead bombarded Job with nature questions in order to reveal different kind of intelligences he had given man with which man ought to confront any challenges that arise. Now, in the book of Job chapter 39 verses 26 to 30, God said, does the hawk take flight by your wisdom and spread its wings toward the south? Does the eagle soar at your command and build its nest on high? It dwells on a cliff and stays there at night. A rocky crack is its stronghold. From there, it looks for food. Its eyes detect it from afar. Its young ones feast on blood and where the slain are, there it is. Now, my friend, the word of God is revealing that everything the ego does is by wisdom. Note that another word for wisdom is intelligence. The ego's flight, the ego's swarming, the ego's nest construction, the ego's dwelling on cliff, and the ego's vision, they all speak about the intelligences that God put in the ego, which he effectively deploys to excel in the wild. This is highly instructive, my friend. Meanwhile, for the purpose of this episode, I will focus on the ego's vision intelligence. The ego is a bird of prey, and it is equipped with the strong ability to see clear and far. While perching on a high mountain, it can see a prey on the ground many feet away. The ego has the sharpest eyesight of all raptors. It has ability for sight four to eight times stronger than humans. It has excellent color vision as well. According to Dr. Becker, if you swap your eyes for an eagle's eyes, you could see an hand crawling on the ground from the roof of a 10-story building. You could make out the expressions on basketball players' faces from the worst seat in the arena. Objects directly in your line of sight would appear magnified and everything will be brilliantly colored, rendered in an inconceivable array of shades. Eagles, like all birds, also have excellent color vision. They see colors more vividly than we do and can distinguish more shades. They also see ultraviolet light, which allows them to detect the urine trace of small praise. They can distinguish between five different colored scores and can find even camouflaged or hidden prey on the ground below. Bald eagles can see fish in the water while they soar or glide several hundred feet above the half. This is more difficult than you might think because most fish are counter shaded, darker on top, and lighter on their underside, and harder to spot from above. Now, the ego intelligence or talent is the ability to see color, light, shape, and depth. You are able to close your eyes and imagine, seeing things that are not actually in front of your eyes. This is a tremendous gift or tremendous intelligence. The ego talent is known as visual spatial intelligence. Visual spatial intelligence is the ability to visualize and represent the physical or eternal world in your mind and reproduce those images in the exact way that they exist. The people who are strong in this intelligence are keenly interested in painting, drawing, sculpting, flying, on and on and on. 
The Yugu talent people can do very well as sculptor, archaeologist, leader, uh, graphic designer, engineer, draft person, sailor, videographer, photographer, mathematical topologist, painter, naturalist, navigator, battlefield strategist, architect, pilot, etc. An important example of the ego talent is Macangelo. According to Professor Gretti E. Gibbard, one of his biographers, Macangelo was considered the greatest living artist in his lifetime. And ever since then, he has been heard to be one of the greatest artists of all time. A number of his works in painting, sculpture, and architecture rank among the most famous in existence. Although the frescoes on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel are probably the best known of his works today, the artist thought of himself primarily as a sculptor. His practice of several arts, however, was not unusual in his time. When all of them were thought of as based on design or drawing, Michelangelo worked in marble sculpture all his life and in the other arts only during certain periods. The high regard for the Sistine ceiling is partly a reflection of the greater attention paid to painting in the 20th century and partly too because many of the artist's works in other media remain unfinished. My friend, does the ego intelligence resonate with your life? If your response is in the affirmative, I congratulate you because you are a great blessing to this world. Please arise, develop, and effectively deploy this talent. Remember to touch the subscribe and notification buttons down below so you may receive notification once I upload my new video. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.